Hey guys, John Place here. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, a setup video on my short stack photo booth. When I get to a party, this is all I take with me. I have three boxes for the short stack. This is for holding um, uh, different kinds of glasses and things like that. This is my backdrop stand. Um, all of my backdrops and props and miscellaneous things are in the, in the bottom box, which is like storage. And then the mini, middle box, I have uh, the printer. In the top box, I call it the office, and that's where all the computers and um, things like that are. So I'm just going to do a quick video. Uh, when I say quick, it usually takes me, uh, well, if I'm not talking to you guys, it'll probably take me about 15 minutes. If I stop a little bit and I talk to you, it could take me about 20 minutes or so to set up. I like to arrive to parties um, an hour before. Uh, if it's a brand new venue I've never, ever been to, maybe an hour and 15 minutes before. Um, so we're going to set up here. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, first thing I like to do is, well, the first thing you gotta do when you get to a party is you have to evaluate the situation and see where you're setting up. Um, there's a, a large percentage of the time when you show up someplace, they, the client wants you in a certain place and it's just not gonna work. Um, you have to know how big your backdrop is, how tall your backdrop is, how much space you need between the backdrop and the photo booth, um, how much space you need for lines and things like that. So um, I've gone to places where they want me in a hallway next to a kitchen, not gonna work. Um, I've gone to a place where they want me in uh, a little side room and there's a huge grand piano in there. That's not gonna work, not enough room. So um, the first thing I do before I even break out any of the photo booth stuff is I go in, introduce myself, say hello, walk around, show me where they want me. If it's gonna work, I set up. If it's not gonna work, I kinda look around and see where a better place would be to set up is and I try to convince them that that's gonna be the best place for their party. So um, that's the first thing I do. Right now, this is our spot. Plenty of room. There's outlets on the back wall, which is great. Um, I, always, I always try to get really close to outlets. I don't want to run a 50-foot extension cord if I don't have to. Uh, so this is perfect. So let's do it. I'm going to try to do this without any editing, just straight cut. I like to set up my table first just so I have a platform to work from. If I don't have to bend all out on the ground to do things, I don't want to do that. So the first thing I do is I set up my backdrop. I have a nice workspace to do everything. I don't have to duck down on the floor and do that. So. So, and then the screws I actually just keep in the bottom. That way I know they're there for the next party. I don't lose them. I usually keep extras in a bag. I would recommend you do the same. Second one. Now, of course, this is just me setting up all my by myself. Uh, usually, I have an assistant with me. If it's Kaylin, my daughter, or somebody that uh, that goes a lot with me, we have our own tasks that we do. So what will happen is usually I'll have the assistant, uh, they'll be actually doing this part. They set up the table, the backdrops, the props, and I set up the photo booth. Uh, I'm doing this all myself today. Just so you can see that it is easy to do it yourself. It's roughly eight feet. We'll adjust it further once we get going. Two of these go together. Let me 
loose in these first. You can just get it started so it stays, and then I'll do the other side. And then we'll move back. They don't have to be very tight. I've seen people really crank these things down. Barely snug, that's all you need. And now we'll come back to this in a minute. I just take this out. Have it ready. Take this, just put it someplace safe. Once I'm all set up, I always either find a place at the venue to hide everything, or I'll take it back to my truck. You don't want it out in, in public, it looks ugly. You want all the uh, behind the scenes stuff to be hidden. So we'll just throw this over here. Okay. Now, the three boxes. So, they have these nice little cases on them, covers. Helps protect it from getting scratched and things. Here's the first box. Uh, again, this is the box where I store all the stuff. So, um, like I said, in here I have a backdrop, a couple extension cords, table cover, prop. Uh, these are sign holders. These are some signs. All the glasses, there's a, like 26 pair of glasses in here. And then I keep stuff like tape and things like that in here too. Okay. So next box is the printer box. I think you can see it here, let me just make sure. Yeah. All right, this is the printer box. Same thing. These, uh, these covers, actually have like a, a little elastic band so when you put them on it hugs the, the cases which is pretty cool so they won't just like fall off or slip off all right this one it's called the short stack and here's why they just stack there's that one now the top box same thing has a cover. Remove that cover. And then we'll stack this one on top of here. That's it, short stack. Next thing, let's see, we're here, might as well put this on, make it pretty. I don't want to bend down and try to put the legs. It's easier to flip the table up like this. Flip it the other way. And then. Make it nice. Okay. Now, before I position this table, we'll do the backdrop. This, part, this part's a little bit tricky to do by yourself, but it's doable. Um, the backdrop I use, I have uh, it's two sided. One side is like silver, like this. The other side is the same pattern, but in gold. 90% of the parties I do, silver. They, they just pick that. I, these are the only backdrops I have. These are the ones I offer. Um, I've never had a, a, a client say that, no, they don't like either one of these. The silver usually always does it. So it's just like a pillowcase. 
Put on one side. Smoke on the other side. Okay, it'll slide it down. Usually I come back and forth a little bit like this. Just like that. Now you see it's all wrinkly and weird. Um, so I just tighten that on one side, come over here to the other side, and I'll pull it nice and snug. Don't pull it too tight because you don't want to rip the seams, but make it kind of snug. Like that, and then tighten it. And now we're going to raise it. This is the part a little tricky. You got to do a little bit, tighten it, run over to this side, do a little bit more, tighten it. Tighten it, run back over to this side, do a little bit more. With two people, obviously it's a lot easier. Bottom one. Same thing, just a little bit. Run right over to this side. I like to come up just a little bit off the floor, not too high. I don't know, maybe two inches or so. Maybe, oh, this is like an inch. Go a more. There we go. And then do this one. We'll do a final adjustment once the camera's on to make sure that the horizontal lines are straight. They might look straight here, but when you turn on the camera, they might look slightly at an angle, and then it makes all the pictures look crooked. Um, this bar, it has holes, so you can attach it like the top. I never use them. You can. The reason I don't use them um, is because when you attach them with the with the screws, it's about this high off the ground, and a lot of times people back up too far and they'll step on it and it'll break. So what I do is, you see how it has this little groove? I just line this up with the poles this and then I just put this over here like that over on this side and then I slide it out make it nice and tight just like that and see there's no wrinkles nothing it's nice and pretty okay now let's get this out of the way Now I'll position this to where I want it. For this video, I'm just going to move it a little closer to the wall over here. There we go. And then for me, I know I want my photo booth about six feet away from here, from the backdrop. So one, two, three, four, five. Six-ish, right around there, okay? And then uh, also look at the center, try to find the center. See where you're at. I'm a little off. I'm going to scoot it over just a little bit. Find the center. Still off. I'm going to scoot over just a little bit more. And again, you can fine tune this once the photo booth is on and you're looking to the camera. Next thing, table. I like to put my table right at the edge of the backdrop, like this. Um, I don't want to go here because then sometimes when you do wide shots of like a big group, you'll see the table. I don't like putting it here because then it's kind of behind the backdrop. I literally put it just like that, right at the edge. Okay. This will play safe. This is actually a a shoe uh, a shoe rack. I just turn the holders here upside down, and I can hang glasses from it. I like to put that right in the back corner over there. These are for signs. These are from Ikea. They're actually uh, plate plate holders. 
they work great for sign holders. Depending on the party, depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I'll put two tables. Um, lately, I've just been putting one table, and everybody seems to have the same amount of fun, so um, that's good, and it's less to worry about. Um, and again, also, sometimes I'll just put two of these out with signs, sometimes three. For this one, we'll just put three, which will hold 18 signs front and back. And then I have a little space here if I wanted to put a hat or something that's weird. Um, I don't usually use hats because uh, it's kind of gross. People are all sweaty from dancing. Then the next person puts it on, it's sweaty. Um, kids' parties, you might have headlights, things like that. Um, I just don't do hats. Um, I do have like a Viking hat, which is plastic, and I do have a crown, like a king's crown, which is plastic. That's okay. I use those, and that's all right. Now signs, whatever. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put them in really quick. It's not gonna really take too much time. Again, these are like front and back, flirt or flirty, trouble, party animal, hot stuff. They have a lot to choose from. Different sizes, different shapes. Try to put the bigger ones toward the back, small ones toward the front. And that's usually only when I'm just setting up, so it looks pretty for pictures. Once they get going, they go all over the place. There's no way to really keep order of that. I always bring a couple extra just in case. Um, in case one breaks, somebody breaks one, somebody loses one, or whatever. All right, there's signs. Now glasses. Um, this comes with three tiers. I only put two tiers up. It holds 24 glasses. I bring like 26 or 27 pair just in case, again, something breaks or something walks off, things like that. Plus, I like to have every single hole filled so that I know if something's missing. So if, it, if I'm running the booth and nobody's standing at the booth and I'm, there's a hole missing and there's no glasses on the floor or anywhere around, that means somebody on the dance floor is wearing my glasses. And sure enough, I'll take a quick little stroll through the party and I'll find those glasses. Also, same thing at the end of the party, I'll know what I'm missing. So, again, I usually have the assistant that does this while I set up everything else. But for this, I'll just do it. Myself. These are all cool. They're all different kinds of glasses. I have my little pony. This is a Mario. I have Princess. I have Luigi. Funny, funky little, you know, sassy glasses. People have a lot of fun with them. When I first started off doing photo booth, I brought probably 150 different props from boas and guitars and blow up microphones and which was kind of cool but once I started working on a regular basis I realized how much of a pain in the butt that was and it becomes a huge mess really fast so that's my prop table that's what it looks like how many minutes are we in 19 minutes all right so this is actually gonna take me probably about 25 minutes or so all right now the photo booth. On each side I have these holes so I can run extension cords either on this side or that side depending on where I want to go with the cord. For here there's actually a plug right on the other side so I'm just going to run it straight across. You probably can't see that. So sorry in advance. But I also like these full Take this part. I like these flat extension cords. See how they're flat? They go nicely across the floor when you tape it down. Low profile. I don't know what I did with this extension cord. I got it all twisted and turned. Also, whenever you're breaking down from an event, take the extra time and make everything nice. Make your cables nice, pack things away in the right places. Um, 
really saves you a lot of time for the next party. Otherwise, you're searching for things, things are forgotten, things are lost, and that's not good either. So I'm just gonna hook up this really quick. There's three boxes, and each box just plugs into another. And again, if I wasn't talking, I could have probably had this set up in less than 20 minutes for the entire setup. Make sure you always have tape so you can tape things to the floor. Let me, uh, I'm gonna move the camera over here so you can see what's going on on the inside. Here we go. Here we go, hold on, sorry. Movement here. All right, let's move this right here. Oh, let's see if I go back a little bit more. All right, so here's what's going on here. This box plugs into this box. This box plugs into this extension cord. And once I plug it in, it should all turn on. Yay! So again, down here, I'll store things like, you know, here's that box that has the glasses in. And I can restore everything in here nice and clean. You know, here's some bags, here's some stuff, extension cords. I can put all these, uh, all of my covers in here. You know, things like that, but I'm not going to take, yeah, I'm moving too fast. So not, I would normally fold them up so they fit. I'm not going to do that right now. All right. This is the Paper catcher. That's it. Of course, you know, turning it on, getting the software going, things like that. Oh, and then I would tape this to the floor, which I'm not going to do right now. But that's it. That is the entire setup. It's 22 minutes with talking. Let me see. Let me just give you a quick roundabout here. That's the whole setup. Again, that wire over there, I would tape to the floor. Um, and then here's the way that my flow works. So the reason I have it set up like this is for this. I operate the photo booth from over here. Uh, I like having the line back here goes around me. They come in here, they do their photo, they grab their stuff, it's nice and close because they have 10 seconds between each shot to switch up, back, switch it up again, third shot, put everything away nice, now they come here and wait for their photo, and the next person comes. So it's a constant flow through. There's no, uh, no hiccups. I also don't let the guest pick up the signs or the glasses before it's their turn. I see a lot of photo booths where everybody in line has props, but the person here taking a picture, they're looking for the the, the Viking hat and you can't find it anywhere because the guy halfway down the line has the hat. So I don't let them take anything. Uh, another thing I do to keep things moving is, uh, and I see this a lot too with other photo booths, is the people will come in, they'll go straight to the props, and they'll start like trying to decide what they want. Oh no, I want this, oh no, no, and then they're talking and doing whatever, well that's holding up the line. So what I do to keep that moving is uh, when I'm over here, like alright guys, stand here. Uh, we're going to do a nice picture first. And uh, or we're gonna do a nice picture, nice picture first, so the host has nice pictures of everybody, and then we'll get silly. Ninety-nine percent of the time, they're cool with that. Come here. As soon as I press go, they take their nice picture. Now the clock is in motion. They have ten seconds to grab the next one because it's automated. Grab the next one. Ten seconds. Done. They're out. Um, it really moves the line fast. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Let me uh, let me just give you one more little walkthrough. Show you the front of it. That's the whole setup. Again, I didn't. Oh, my side monitors. Okay, let me also say this. This photo booth is my own personal design for me. Um, I don't sell them like this with all three screens on the sides. That's a custom thing that uh, that only mine has. Otherwise, it'll probably be pretty expensive because that's another probably two thousand dollars just in iPads. And then on the back here, I have another Surface Pro, 
And all of these show slideshows throughout the party. And then another one over here. And then this is a remote control to control the camera up and down, pan left and right. And then here's the front of the photo booth. Um, this is a 200 watt speaker. So once it gets, once it gets going, um, people can really hear what's going on. Even, and it's loud. Even if there's a, uh, a speaker, a DJ speaker right next to you, you're going to hear that speaker. I mean, people are only you know, three feet away, so they can hear it. I'm not going to start the whole thing up, but uh, basically you just start the software. I don't have the printer turned on, so I didn't, uh, didn't start booth. It's just saying that the printer is not plugged in. And then that's my, my start screen. Camera's turned off too, so that's not going to come on, but that's it. All right. I also, uh, you can also custom wrap the whole thing. So that's what this is. Normally it just comes in uh, flat or a nice shiny white. I actually got it all wrapped. Um, you can order all the pieces. Uh, like if you design something, I'll send you a template. You can order all the pieces. I think it comes out to about 150 bucks and you can wrap it do custom designs, put your logo, things like that. Um, if you're doing corporate events, you can put their logos all around it. So that's a good markup too for, um, for corporate to uh, to tell them that they can that you can brand their your photo booth with all their info and their logos and stuff. It's really nice. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my short stack photo booth. Thanks for watching.